we were going to do a tour with Ann with a live string section. I could write horn charts, but I had really no clue about strings. One of my dear friends, James Mitchell, well, this is a baritone sax player, mm -hmm. but he was also the guy who wrote all those amazing string parts for those beautiful Al Green records. And every night after I would go play on Beale Street and mm -hmm. after my gig, I would go hang out with him and I'd take all this, these score sheets and he would show me how he wrote those parts. That was how I was going to prep myself to write these string parts that I was hearing in my head for this tour. And I did that for about a year. And, and so by the time that we were really ready to put the tour together, I had the whole show scored out. And then the, the tour fell apart because the budget didn't. It's like you never know why a certain situation didn't work out until you get 25,000 feet away from it. At the time, you're at a, you know 500 feet off the ground. You're looking at it with you know your hand on your face kind of thing. That must have been devastating to hear that the tour fell apart, right? <laughs> yeah. You were counting on it. You put so much work and blood, sweat, and tears into it, but all of a sudden, you've got this wealth of experience. Now I can do this for another show. What has got me so far is I had this ability to always take a terrible situation and look at the bright side. Beautiful. Mm. Always, man. Mm. As soon as the tour didn't didn't happen, man, I just said, think about what you've got. Think about it. Now look at all these score sheets and know that you'll be able to use them someday for something. 